Hello, I'm Yomi Olufiade, and this is your word for the week. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13. The Bible said, There is no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to to bear it. God has sent me with a word of encouragement to you this week. If you catch hell, don't hold it. If you're going through hell, don't stop. I wouldn't know what you're going through, but my admonition to you this week is to hear the word of the Lord. The Bible said there has no temptation, no trial, no tribulation, no circumstance overtaking you, but such as is common to man. So I'd like to encourage you, the first thing to tell yourself, no matter what you're going through this week or any other day of your life, is this, it is common to man. If you are going through hell, it is common to to man. If you happen to catch hell, it is common to man. I can begin to tell you examples upon examples of different people that happened to catch hell or they passed through hell. Daniel was God's emissary in Babylon. He was put in a lion's den for daring and attempting to pray and live a righteous life. Talk about going through hell. Joseph was trying to live for God in the land of Egypt, yet the wife of Potiphar cast her eyes on him, set him up and lied against him, and he ended up in prison. He interpreted dreams for people. They forgot him there. Talk about catching hell. Talk about going through hell. But the word of the Lord to you this week is this. If you catch hell, don't hold it. If you're going through hell, don't you ever stop. First thing, tell yourself it is common to man. It has happened to people before you. It will happen to men after you. So it is common to man. Number two, from this passage of scripture that you need to understand is simple. God is faithful. Say with me, God is faithful. God is faithful. Maybe your bank account is red. God is faithful. Maybe there is sickness on your body. God is faithful. Maybe your business is going through turbulent times. God is faithful. Maybe your career, you are going through some challenges there. God is faithful. He said there is no temptation. There is no trial, no tribulation that you might be going through, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful. God is ever faithful. When we are undependable, God will yet be dependable. Okay, he has said he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. God is faithful. And the Bible didn't stop there. He said, and God is able, God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you can sustain, that which you can carry, that which your strength can manage. So you've got to tell yourself, it is common to man, God is faithful, but beyond that, you tell yourself, with God, I got this. There is a way out and I will find it. Okay, the Bible said in the book of Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 10, he said, if you faint in the day of adversity, City, it's an indication that your strength is small. But I say to you, my dear friend, your strength is not small. With God on your inside, you've got this. He said, with God, he will not suffer you to be tempted above what you are able. So that circumstance, God knows you have capacity to carry it. It might not be evident to you right at the moment, but I believe that as I'm speaking to you, strength is being infused into you and you are beginning to see resources you are previously unaware of that will take you through that situation and bring you out on top. With that same challenging situation, God will make a way 
for you. I want to challenge you this week. Keep your faith up. Keep speaking your faith. Tell yourself, it is common to man. Tell yourself, my God is faithful. Tell yourself, with God, I got this. And as you begin to pray, as you begin to confess your faith, as you begin to speak the word of God over that situation, I tell you something, you will begin to see the victory of the Son of God. I say to you again, if you catch hell this week, don't hold it. If you happen to go through hell, don't you ever stop. Keep pressing, keep pushing. Keep moving, keep going forward. And I tell you something, even with the same temptation, God is going to make a way of escape for you. I pray for you that the grace of God be released in your direction to grant you victory and bring you out on top. You are a winner. You are never a loser in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a very successful and fruitful week in Jesus' name.